Ladies and gentlemen of the Action Army, what is going on? And welcome to another episode of Answers for Athletes. First off, if you haven't noticed by now, we do have an audience, but they're both locked out of dad's office um, because they just come in here and they just cause chaos. Both of them together, they're just, it's just, they're menaces, bro. Um, But what I want to do before I answer this question very quickly is I would like to apologize because I haven't actually answered a question on this channel in like two weeks. I've been posting a lot of road to 43 inch vertical vlogs, which is okay. I think that's valuable for you guys. I've been posting a lot of my old podcast clips. Now, the reason that I've been doing that is because I wanted to stay consistent and post a video every single day, but I got super busy um, outside of just this channel with, you know, basketball season ending. I thought I would be less busy, but then everybody else's season ended as well. And they're like, everybody's like, Hey, we want to come in for training. So now I'm trying to get situated. I'm training a bunch of guys in person. Anyways, long story short, we are back to the questions. I don't want this channel to just become, um, you know, my workout vlogs and podcast clips. I want to get back to the core of this channel, which is me answering questions. Um, and then we can sprinkle in the vlogs and the podcast clips here and there. So we got a question from Trip Davis who says, hi, I'm wondering how to produce more vertical force. And when I heard that, I think I just thought, get stronger, get more powerful. Come on, like how? All right, I apologize for that. But when he said that, immediately I thought of, well, you need to do everything that we would normally do to increase your vertical jump, increase your force production or your maximum strength, increase your max velocity or your speed, increase your power, your rate of force development, lift heavy, lift fast, lift heavy and fast, do all the things that we both know will increase your vertical jump. But then he went on to say, I'm able to grab and hang on the rim pretty easily but I end up jumping about two feet to my left. How can I redirect that force better so I can jump higher vertically? So to me, this sounds like he's having trouble transferring that horizontal momentum into vertical momentum. Um, So I've made a couple videos on this in the past, so I'll just reiterate what I was saying there, but I also have a really good analogy that I think all of you should uh, follow and keep in mind when you're doing a two-foot approach vertical jump to transfer that horizontal momentum into vertical momentum as effectively and as efficiently as possible. But one thing that you can really do that is very underrated is horizontal to vertical plyometrics with a target. So let me explain that. When you're doing so, some good plyos to do would be approach hurdle jumps or approach box jumps or approach like max approach touches, but where you're aiming for a specific thing that you're touching, like the front of the rim or the corner of the square on the backboard. And the reason why these are so good is because when you have a target to aim for, like a hurdle, when you have a target to jump over, you have to make sure that you really plant in your pen, in your penultimate, you really plant that block foot well, you turn to the side because we understand that with 10 toes forward, when you're approaching with 10 toes forward, your momentum will go forward. So we need that turn in our penultimate. You really have to plant that block foot hard. That is your brakes and that transfers that horizontal momentum. You hit the brakes and then you go into that vertical to get up over that hurdle or onto that box or to effectively touch the front of the rim, the corner of the backboard, etc. Um, now, one analogy that I think is really effective for two foot jumping and to help you understand what you need to do in your approach to transfer that horizontal momentum into vertical is that you need to act like a hockey player stopping on ice. When a hockey player stops on ice, they don't try to stop forward. They skid to the side so that they can put on the brakes, right? You need to do the same thing in an approach vertical jump. So if you're putting on the brakes with 10 toes, your feet pointed forward, your momentum is going to go forward. You need to, in your penultimate, turn your first foot and then turn your second foot your block foot so that you can effectively put on the brakes just like a hockey player skidding on ice or stopping on ice and then so that you can transfer that into vertical momentum. But anyways, um, add in some horizontal to vertical plyos 
Make sure that you're doing all the other stuff, touching every aspect on the force velocity curve. Um, but you really need to rep out your penultimate step. And one other good drill that I'll give you is an assisted, a band assisted penultimate drill, Well, which I'll put a video here. Um, but the band is Essentially, it's an overspeed exercise, which it's very easy. It's very easy to do overspeed exercises incorrectly and inefficiently. But what you can do is have the band pull you faster than you are normally uh, used to going, which is tough because are you really getting pulled faster from a band than on an approach? Maybe not. Um, but band assisted really helps you just work on that penultimate step and really planning that block foot by turning to the side. So this is something that, that you could add in. Um, but if you don't have a band or you don't want to do that exercise, I would just rep out, get reps and reps and reps of max approach jumps or approach jumps while utilizing that turn like a hockey player. Anyways, that's it for this video. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your question down below if you want me to answer your question in a video just like this. And there's a link down below in the pinned comment and the description of this video with access to my advanced training programs. If you would like to take all of the guesswork out of your training and you would like me, a professional strength and conditioning coach who specializes in basketball players, but I love volleyball players. I love helping people of all sports. If you want me to set up your sets, your reps, your progression i may mean, see i haven't done one of these in a while if you want me to set up your sets your reps your exercises your regressions and progressions your phases your periodization so that you get as athletic as explosive and jump as high as you possibly can then click that link check out my programs and my vertical jump customized coaching but without further ado i will see you in tomorrow's video peace